Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie, and welcome to the new viewers and the returning diehard subs to the channel. We do weekly interviews here and provide analysis on the latest Bengals breaking news. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know how to subscribe, there's a button below this video. And we also provide a link in the video description. So if you're looking for that, it should be there. So the Bengals pulled off some big news this afternoon. This is Friday around 2 o'clock while I'm recording this. And they decided to make a trade. They traded Austin Calitro, which was a linebacker that they claimed on waivers, I believe, from the Jaguars. He was a guy that had a lot of special teams experience, used to play for the Seahawks. But with the Bengals drafting so many linebackers this season, when you talk about Logan Wilson, Akeem Davis, Gaither, uh, Marcus Bailey, there just wasn't room for him. He did have a great camp. However, there just really wasn't room to keep him around. So what the Bengals decided to do, instead of straight up cutting Calitro, they had a need and they had a massive need at defensive tackle because since Josh Tupo decided to sit out, they've just had a massively thin hole at nose tackle and so they decided to go and trade for Chris Covington so this move actually costs them a little bit more money 800,000 more because Kalitro was only guaranteed I believe around 800,000 and it appears that Covington is a little over a million dollars that they're going to do so it's 800,000 and more salary and they're trading these players straight up for each other so Denver is going to get a linebacker with special teams experience that they probably need. And it seemed that Chris Covington was a guy that was battling Demarcus Walker, a notable uh, defensive lineman out of Florida State. And it appeared that John Elway was looking to trade whichever guy lost that battle. Now, we have people that we actually know uh, that are close to the Broncos that were in camp, actual players that have said that he had a great camp. So Covington was really a solid guy, definitely going to be someone that we can look forward to. So if you're listening to this video wondering, is, is Chris Covington good? Yes, he is a good player. He's solid. And when you actually do your research, you realize that he actually played with DJ Reader in Houston. Now, he was a six-round pick. I believe it was in 2016. Uh, very solid. And when you look at some of his PFF scores from 2019 going about back to 2017, you might get pretty excited. So in 2019, he had an overall grade of 65.7. He was great against the run defense at 71.9. Not really good against, uh, not really great as a pass rusher last year. So he had a 54.8 uh, grade. And then when you go back to 2018, he actually graded higher overall at 76.8. And then he was 73.5 against a run and 65.4 against the pass. Now, this is where you might get extremely excited. Now, I have to mind you that there was only about 100 and some odd snaps played this season. But in 2017, he graded out with an elite grade of 87.4 overall. That was 88.2 against the run, so he was elite against the run, and he was pretty decent against um, or as a pass rusher. So those are some things to keep in mind. This is a guy that's going to come in and immediately make an impact and be able to come in and – uh, be able to spell DJ Reader at that position. They literally didn't have anyone there. They only had Geno, DJ Reader, and of course, Mike Daniels. So this is going to be a guy that's more than capable. He's played in the 3-4 before. He's played in the 4-3. So whatever the Bengals decide to use, he should be very familiar with it. But it does seem that he would be a five technique. And for my Madden players out there, if you're wondering what his rating is in Madden, he's a 71. So not a guy that's just going to come in and be a superstar, but a very very solid guy to have coming off your bench. Very good move by the Bengals. This is a great death pick. And Jeff Hobson this morning was talking about the Bengals potentially claiming a nose tackle on waivers. So this clears that up for them. There's probably going to be some other spots that they may shore up with them making this trade. And so I think if they get some more flexibility at another position, they may be interested in that one as well. So just to talk about his career, he was drafted in 2015, I said 2016 earlier, by the Texans. He spent three years there, and then he went to Dallas for a year, and he was with the, the Broncos this year, and then obviously they traded him to the Bengals. So this is a guy that's a notable vet, has experience, should definitely be solid, and you can feel that this is a great move for the Bengals. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Comments. But as usual, 
I will leave you guys with a who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday. New Stripe City is proud to announce that our channel has partnered with Fanatics, an NFL licensed merchandiser for NFL.com and Bengals.com as well. Through Fanatics, you can buy men's and women's and kids' Bengals apparel and jerseys and also help grow our channel through using the links in our video description. When you do that, it truly helps grow the channel, and we did this because it allows Bengals fans to not only enjoy our content, but also get top-tier authentic Bengals merchandise. So if you're looking to get a new Burrow or T. Higgins jersey or even a fresh hoodie or a hat, click on the link in our description, and when you do that, it helps support the channel. Now, when you order a rookie's jersey, and that by rookie, I mean Joe Burrow or T. Higgins, it's a special event item, meaning that the NFL has to confirm rookie jersey numbers first before sending it out for production and shipment. And also with COVID-19, it also has slowed this process down as well. So one thing that you'll notice is that you may receive an initial delivery date of October, but that is due to those restrictions. I've been told by Fanatics' support team that once jersey numbers are confirmed and the supply is received that the item will immediately ship out meaning that you can expect to get your item sooner than october however if you have any questions about your order or when it's going to be shipped or any details you can reach out to F the fanatics support team on twitter at fanatics support you can direct message them with your order number and they will give you an update on it but your jersey is covered for up to 365 days. And this is something that applies to whether you buy it on NFL.com's NFL shop or the Bengals Pro Shop online. We all are under these restrictions. So bear with us. We appreciate it. And as usual, make sure that you're rocking with us on who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday. <laughs>